Good day, my dear tourists in Ilocano na Imbag Abigat Kanyayo. Welcome to Iloco Sur. I am Ati Edver, your tour guide for today, and this is Manu Jules, a professional licensed driver, a driver for the day. And in behalf of the Cast Department Travel and Tours, we are happy to serve you. Right now, I'd like to take this moment to spare some rules and regulations that we strictly need to follow regarding to the new normal and tour guidelines. First, do not leave your belongings. Be responsible. Second, bring with you your alcohol and face mask together with your face shield. Strictly observe social distancing. And for those who left their alcohol and face mask in their hotel room, don't worry because I got you. Third, pay attention to my signals indicated by a clicker. If you heard this twice, meaning everyone needs to gather. And fourth, in order to preserve the beauty of Ilocos region, remember the word clego, clean as you go. Before we reach our first destination, let's start with a head count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 30. I have here 30 lovely tourists along the trip. And as your tour guide, it is my responsibility to make you all safe and comfortable along our trip. We don't know what will happen next, so I have here my first aid kit for your safety purposes. And at this moment, let me tell you something about Ilocos Sur. Ilocos Sur is composed of 32 municipalities and 2 cities. My dear tourists, did you know that in May 2015, Vegan City was officially recognized as one of the new 7 wonder cities together with Beirut, Doha, Durban, Havana, Kuala Lumpur, and La Paz. New Seven Wonders Foundation President and Founding Member Bernard Weber led a ceremony held at St. Paul Cathedral where he handed a bronze plaque, yes, bronze plaque to vegan mayor Eva Grace Simpson Medina, signifying the Heritage City's election as one of the world's wonder cities. Ilocos Sur was founded by the Spanish conquistador Juan de Salcedo in 1572. It was formed when the North, now called Ilocos Norte, split from the South, now called Ilocos Sur. At that time, it included parts of Abra and the upper half of the present-day La Union. This current boundary of the province was permanently defined through Act 2683, which was signed in March 1917. The province is home to two UNESCO World Heritage Sites, namely the Heritage City of Vigan and the Baroque Church of Santa Maria. When we mention Ilocos Sur, tourist spots and Vigan always tops the mind. While it's undoubtedly fascinating, Ilocos Sur is more than the cobblestone streets of Vigan. The province is known for its rich culture and history, the heritage sites, adventure parks, and of course, the food. But this time, we'll be putting the highlight on the beautiful places to visit in Ilocos Sur. Whether it's for the long vacation or just a quick breather from the hustle and bustle of city life, here are some of the most beautiful tourist spots in Ilocos Sur that certainly won't disappoint. Buckle up your seatbelts, you sit back and relax because your dream travel is about to happen. held in Ilocos Sur, but I'm just going to introduce to you the Viva Vegan Festival and the Langanisa Festival. Viva Vegan Festival, every first week of May, Vegan Place hosts to visitors for this festival, featuring painting and product exhibits, a Kalesa parade, and other cultural activities. Also, the Longganisa Festival of Vegan City held every 22nd of January features the longest Longganisa with the hope of entering to the Guinness Book of Records as the longest Longganisa of the world. The Longganisa plays a major role in promoting the identity of the city as a major producer of Longganisa which is famous not only locally but also abroad. 
Baluarte Resort and Mini Zoo. Another popular attraction in Vigan is the Baluarte Resort and Mini Zoo. This is a good destination for kids and the whole family to enjoy holidays and take selfie with the animals, especially with this gigantic dinosaur replica. The best thing about the place is that it's open to the public and admission is free. Next up is the Mindoro Beach. The Mindoro Beach is located just 5 kilometers east of the town proper of Vigan. Unlike other beaches facing in the China Sea, which are mostly white sands, the beach is covered by black but smooth and fine sand. Mindoro Beach is absolutely a good place for relaxation and best spot to watch the gorgeous sunset. Gather around and let's proceed to our next destination. Welcome to... Hidden Garden. Another attraction in the Lacostur that will delight your eyes and tummy is Hidden Garden in Vigan. It's not just a garden, though, as there are food stalls and a cafe where you can eat while appreciating the beautiful view. They also sell plants and flowers there. When craving for an Ilocano dish, Hidden Garden is the best place to be. In the middle of the garden is a restaurant surrounded by beautiful plants and trees with a must-try Ilocano foods at an affordable prices. This is a must-visit place when you want to experience nature while munching great food. Plaza Burgos is one of the two major plazas in Vigan City, which was built to remember one of the three Filipino martyr priests, Father Jose Burgos. Although this is a public area, the place is well maintained. Empanada is the best in Vigan City and a must-try when visiting Plaza Burgos. Let's indulge for a moment. Bantay Bell Tower. This is a nice stop when visiting Vigan in Ilocos Sur. Built in 1591, it serves as a town's watchtower before being turned into a bell tower by the nearby church. Never leave Bantay Ilocos Sur without climbing up the bell tower where you will be treated with the breathtaking views of the church from above. Pagburnayan Jar Factory. This is one of the most visited in the city of Vigan that you shouldn't miss one in Ilocos Sur. Visiting the place to watch the pottery works and being able to try it is the absolutely an incredible experience here in Ilocos. Sikya Mansion. The Sikya Mansion must serve as the home of the late President Alpidio Quirino and his family. The century-old mansion was built in 1830 and was given as a dowry when President Quirino married the descendant of the Sikya family. Most part of this old mansion was preserved and well kept so new generations can still look back on how Filipinos used to live. Padre Burgos House this museum is the ancestral house and birthplace of Father Jose Burgos. It is one of the notable historic structures of Vigan that houses the memorabilia of Father Burgos and his family. You will definitely enjoy this place if you love history. Next up, Crisologo Museum. In October 1978, Congressman Floro Crisologo was inside the St. Paul's Cathedral when he was shot by an identified gunman. To honor him, the country old family mansion was converted into a museum. The Zoologo Museum is a must-see for all foreign and local travelers since it contains lots of interesting artifacts and great information about way of life in vegan during the 60s to 70s. Next up, St. Paul Metropolitan Cathedral. This Roman Catholic Cathedral in Vigan Ilocosur is also known as the Vigan Cathedral. St. Paul Metropolitan Cathedral is huge and has a great architectural design from the inside and outside. Definitely another worth visiting attraction when in Vigan City. Welcome to Plaza Salcedo. In front of the St. Paul Cathedral is Plaza Salcedo. This is nothing but a plaza with a fountain in the morning, but turns into an awesome attraction at night when the musical fountain starts dancing. The dancing fountain of Plaza Salcedo is absolutely one of the best things you should never miss in Iloco Sur. Okay, I understand that travel isn't just about the beautiful destinations, but travel also means food, right? So, work up quite the appetite while walking vegan's historic streets, head on over to Bartek, which prides itself as being the first and only dinner buffet in vegan. It also serves alcoholic drinks, which fitting since Bartek takes its name from the Lucano word Bartek, which means to be drunk. 
try out their Bangnet Longganisa meal served with KBL, which means kamatis, pagoong, and lasana. Okay, down to our last destination. I know most of you is familiar with this, but introducing Calle Crisologo. This 15th century Spanish street situated inside the Bigot Heritage Village is considered as one of the heritage sites in the Philippines and is also one of the most popular historical tourist spots in Bigan in Ilocos Sur. Its history dates back centuries ago and it will take you back to the Filipino-Spanish colonial era. Calle Crisologo is a beautiful preserved place of history where you can shop for souvenirs and more. And so, this marks the end of our Ilocos Legion Tour. Is there any questions or suggestions that you would want me to know? Just let me know, okay? And in behalf of the Cost Department Tour and Travels, I would like to thank you all for choosing us and for choosing Ilocos Legion on your dream travel. I hope everyone learned a lot and enjoyed about this trip. Again, do not forget to include Region 1 on your bucket list for your future travels after this pandemic. Don't forget to enjoy the rest of your stay here in Region 1. Muli, ako po si Edward Joy, ang inyong tour guide, now signing off. Mabuhay tayong lahat. I can fly.